factor for this problem is said from uh, you were given the following information about a mere bond case. Okay, so the bond pays eight percent semi-annual coupon for this amount of a thousand, and they give us two different bonds P and Q, right? So starting with P, it says that it has a six point eight yield, which is less than the coupon rate given. That means that P is a premium bond which also means that we would have to redeem the bond at the earliest uh, possible uh, redemption date. So they gave us these years, five years after issue and 10 years after issue. So this would be in relation to P because it's the earliest date because it's current. So now we're going to set Q and then we're going to set up our bond pricing formula. So 8% semi-annual coupon. So 8% semi-annual is 4%. 4% times the base amount of 1,000 gives us a $40 coupon. Uh, present value of two times the early five years, 10, uh, 6.8 divided by two semi-annually, 3.4%. And then um, afterwards it says, okay, plus a thousand, because it's being called that far, leads to 10. So I'm going to use my TDM calculator. I'm going to input this as the payment, 10 as the number of years, 3.4 as the percentage, 1,000 as the future value, and I'm going to get 1050.50, right? Now I'm going to input this 1050.50 into this equation to solve for Q, right? So I'm going to do 123.06 minus this amount, get Q by itself, and I'm going to end up finding out that Q is equal to 226.79. Right now, I'm going to set up a bond pricing formula for Q so we can solve for S. So now um, we know that the coupons are 40. A, we don't know the amount of years, but we know that it's uh, being compounded by semi annually. Uh, we know that the yield is 4.4%. It's going to be called by 1000. V to the 2N. Right? Now we want to solve for n from what we have here, right? So hmm, what could we do? Um, let's see if the uh, TVM is possible. Uh, do 926.79 as the present value, 40 as the payment, 4.4 as the interest rate, 1,000 as the future value, compute the number of years, I could get that the number of years is 38, right? So now let's divide by two. And I could get that 38 divided by two is 19. So that's why I see the answer. 